good morning from beautiful Bimini. Welcome to today's video. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Jessica. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you all part three of my cruise port day vlogs here on our Virgin Voyages Western Caribbean Charm Cruise. Today we are in beautiful Bimini. Uh, this is our last port stop here on this cruise and we are going to go head down to the beach club. So if you're curious about what the beach club at Bimini is like, uh, and if you're also curious about what the rockstar version of the Beach Club at Bimini is like, then you definitely want to keep watching because I'm going to share our whole experience today. We're just going to go and relax. We didn't book any excursions here on Bimini because we wanted to just chill and just enjoy the beach and have a relaxing day because our other port... <coughs> rude. <laughs> other port stops have been a little bit more action-packed and this whole cruise has been super action-packed. So we are ready to definitely take it down a couple notches relax and enjoy just the incredibly beautiful turquoise blue water here in Bimini. I, I mean, I'm looking at the water from here and it's already just gorgeous. So I'm gonna go grab the rest of my stuff for my bag and we're gonna head down there. Let's do this. Once you disembark from the ship in Bimini, it's a very short walk to the place where they have the trams waiting for you to t take you either into town or to the beach club. If you are a rock star, you get to go on the club car instead of waiting for the big the trolley. One little rock star perk when you're here in Bimini. Once you arrive at the beach club, it is a very large, very spacious, and very luxurious private beach club for passengers of Virgin Voyages. There's a huge general area, but of course, if you are a rock star, you can go to Richard's Retreat, which is a rock star area. In Richard's Retreat, you'll find even more areas to lounge and dine. It also has its own dedicated bar. We ran into Aisha and Pete, who are a little photo shoot on the way to the beach. Aisha, are you with the drink, drink in your hand? It's a little chilly I know, I was my hoodie. and windy. If the sun would come back out, that would be <laughs> ideal. Don't know if I'm going to be swimming today. We'll see. There's two people out there. Two. <laughs> Wait, three. <laughs> three brave souls are currently in the water. <laughs> Bimini are so beautiful and blue. They're perfect for swimming, snorkeling, or scuba diving. There is a shack on site where you can rent different things to enjoy the water, but not many people took advantage of it on the day we were there because it was very cold. Ventured over to the general area for the beach club at Bimini, and they have just tons of lawn chairs. Like there's no shortage of lounge chairs and day beds and all kinds of little seating areas. So you can definitely find a place to chill and hang out even if you're a rock star or not. I did notice in the non rock star areas, the lounge chairs are a little bit, they're not quite as nice as the ones over in the, the rock star retreat area. You can also rent little private cabanas if you want through your shore things on the Virgin app. They are pretty pricey. I think they're around like $500 for a cabana and they seem like they comfortably fit like two people. So up to you if you wanted to do a little splurge, but in my opinion, there's tons of nice day beds around that are comfortable. Uh, it just depends if you want that like shady sort of secluded vibe or if you don't care. 
This is a really, really big place. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Really just, I wish the sun would come out because it is a little cold. I wanna go swim in the ocean, but we'll see. It's, it's pretty chilly. I don't know. Now, if you come here on a day when the weather's great, there's a DJ, everybody's in the pool. It's like a whole pool party. And I was really bummed because that was just not the vibe we were getting on our day at the beach club at Bimini. favorite cocktail of this trip. Fresh coconut water and spiced rum. Mm. If you're looking for a little bit more adventure during your stop in Bimini, you can take a shore thing out to the SS Sapona Shipwreck and Snorkel. There's one that is $85 that is about two and a half hours where it's just snorkeling in and around the shipwreck. There's another one that's a little bit more that I believe is four hours long that includes the snorkel at the shipwreck plus snorkeling with sharks so if you're feeling very daring that might be a fun option you can also head out to honeymoon harbor and swim with the stingrays which was the sure thing i was highly considering doing but just didn't end up choosing to do it and if you are a scuba diver you can go scuba diving with hammerhead sharks Meanwhile, back on land, Nate and I decided to go check out lunch. All the food is included when you come to the beach club. You do still have to pay for your drinks, um, just like you would on the ship. And you just tap your wristband, just like you would on board the ship. So you don't really have to bring any money with you or your wallet. Um, but I'm about to try some of this stuff. I'm not that hungry because we had our ship eats delivery breakfast right before we got off the ship to come here. But I just wanted to try a couple little things just to see how it is. Got some of the curries because it is chilly today. So I felt like a nice warm curry would be delicious. So good. I mean, seriously, I, I love curry anyway. So I'm an easy audience. <laughs> the perfect thing for kind of a windy, chilly beach day. Also, I don't know how everyone that works for Virgin does it, but they all are have so much energy and are so fun. Like anytime you point a camera at them, they are ready. And it cracks me up. They're always like super friendly and nice and like so. That's one of the fun things about being on this cruise is they really hire people that just like <laughs> Love it. That was a good lunch. It's kind of chilly. With the hot tub. Nothing's really happening because the weather is kind of blah and I dipped my toe in the pool. It's The pool's really cold too, so that's why no one's in the pool. So I think we're just gonna head back to the ship and maybe hit the hot tub because this weather just isn't it for a beach day, unfortunately. The ship is really quick to access, so we're gonna go back. We're gonna keep an eye on the weather. If it starts to get nice, we can always hop back on the club car and come back here and try to enjoy the rest of the afternoon because we're here till about 6.30. So hopefully it gets a little sunnier, warmer, and less windy, but if not, we'll just enjoy the rest of the time on the ship and hopefully it's a little emptier because everyone's out here. Fabulous. The fit. The fit. The hat. Oh my God. On the way back, we decided to take the tram and it was really interesting because the tram makes lots of stops throughout the island. So if you don't want to go to the beach club at Bimini, you can go to various areas and sightsee. You're kind of free to get off and on the tram as you like. Well, we are back on the ship and not gonna lie, a little bummed. The weather did not cooperate with us today. It just was not the vibe at the beach club. And I'm really sad because I, from what I can tell, if it's a nice day, the beach club at Bimini is so much fun. It's like a Vegas pool party. They have DJs, they have 
pool floats and it's just like a really fun lively time and we did not get that experience today unfortunately um, but they did say that they are going to actually because the weather is so bad move the activities that they would have there to the ship they do have these sort of like backup contingency plans um, in place on virgin voyages so that if the weather doesn't cooperate for certain outdoor activities either at bimini or when you're on the ship they do rearrange things relocate them and try to make it work and help you have the best time possible. So that is the cool thing. Just really sad we didn't get to have that fun beach experience. Um, came back and I jumped into the pool because <laughs> why not? Um, it was definitely a little bit warmer at the pool than it was sitting on the beach just because when you're at the pool on the ship, you're like kind of guarded from all the wind. So it helps it feel a little bit warmer. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this, my second Virgin Voyages cruise series. If you haven't checked out my full Virgin voyage experience here on the Western Caribbean Charm Cruise. Make sure to watch this video next. Subscribe if you like fashion and travel content and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, found it helpful. Um, it really does help me out in the algorithm. I'll see you guys over here and if not, I'll see you on the next one. Bye!